Look at this, everybody. We did it. 2022 Tops Star Wars. It's Chrome Black Edition. So a top, top Chrome Black Star Wars. 12 box random character break number one. It's our last Jersey Fest break. We're going to do that randomizer after this video in a separate video. But most of you know I'm a big Star Wars fan, so I'm, I've been looking forward to this all week long. So thanks, everybody. Now, one spot gets you four on this list. Now, keep in mind, if you get a care, if you get an actor, right, that list, the list of actor names, they're only for the autographs. Because there's one spot that'll get all non-autoed cards or all other cards not on the list, which means numbered cards. So if there's an Adam Driver one of one, that goes to the all non-auto spot. If it's an Adam Driver autograph, that'll go to the Adam Driver spot. So there is actually a lot of great value in this sort of in this uh, non-auto list right here. I think I think everyone read. No, no one had any questions for me about it. So I'm assuming everyone has read the item description and has understood the parameters of this break. So, with that being said, there are the 20 right here, and there's there's the whole list right here. That's a list of 80. So I'm just, I wanted to do this here on the spreadsheet so I make sure that I, I, I get the numbers correctly. There we go. So. There's your 80 right there. That's going to go into a list. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up, as always, and congrats again to the people who won their spots. Nice draw for Alan. And now, let's gather the list of names here and put them into this list. And then we'll put the randomizer results right here. Let's roll it and randomize it two and a six, eight times for names and uh, names and actors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. All right, got Michael all the way down to Andy. Now, I also realized that um, all their cards not listed, that could be autos too. So let's say, I mean, all the main, all the main people we got. Let's say there's like, I don't know, we missed a name on the checklist, or it was like some random voice actor from like Star Wars Resistance or something like that. Uh, then you know, and it's an autograph of that voice actor, and have, doesn't be, isn't on this list. We'll obviously go to that section right there as well. Two and a six, eight times for this list. One, two, three, four, five, six seven, and eighth and final time. I wish it was, uh, I wish with the dice roll was six. So I could be like, order 66. Or like a six and a six. It was like 12. Order 66. Do it. All right. So I'm just going to show you the list as is now. And then I'll alphabetize by your first names, and I'll even pause the video so you get a chance to digest the characters that you got. Digest it like a uh, Sarlacc. All right. Nice. Chris with the all non-auto or all other cards not listed spot. Chris with Billy D. Williams. Lando system. <laughs> Lando's not a system. You dumb. All right, so there's everybody right there. All right, now let's sort by your first names. So Alan, Matsui, there are your group of characters right there. Alan Murdoch, with the spots you bought straight up, and look at all the, these guys that you got from the spots that you won. It's pretty nice. Eddie Owens, Ben, 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 Dagoba system, Ben. That's a nice draw for you there, Chris. The all non-auto spot, Rosario Dawson, Carrie Fisher, Amelia Clark, and you got this right here. Oh, yeah, okay. 
Yeah, you got all Billy D. Williams. D. Bradley Baker, somebody else. That's Allen. It's hard to do. All right, and last spot mojo, these guys right here. Carl Weathers. Nice. Carl Weathers also, not only is he in the Mandalorian, he's also in, uh, well, and you know, Rocky, but uh, he's also in uh, Arrested Development. Craig with the Natalie Portman spot. Obi-Wan. Was hoping you'd get uh, one of the Obi-Wan characters, but no. He's got Hayden Christensen, Jim Cummings, too. Matt Bristow. Michael, Matt Bristow, Riz Ahmed, Andy, uh, Amy Sedaris. Eve McDermott, nice. Giancarlo Esposito right there. Daisy Ridley from Michael. Paul Bettany, Samuel L. Jackson, Felicity Jones. Lars Michelson. Alden Ehrenreich. And then Tim Harrison Ford spot right there too. Freddie Prince Jr. He was the voice actor uh, for Kanan Jarrus in the Star Wars Rebels series, which I, uh, which I really recommend. All right, so there you go, gang. I'm going to pause the video just for a little bit. If you're watching live and you want to see your uh, your characters again, definitely let me know. We'll we'll have room for the, we'll have time for that as well. Stick around, everybody. We'll be right back. All right, everybody, no deals were done. So it's case breaking time. All right, so a lot like Topps Chrome Black Baseball that you've seen. One in case autograph and then some extra cards in there. All right, so this goes to the all other spot. All right, it's a trap. And that's to 199. I, I feel like there would be a copyright strike on the video, Nancy. I would love to play the Star Wars theme in the background. I, I'll just have to provide it. Do, 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 do. That's Hondo Onaka. It's Jim Cummings as Honda Onaka. Great character in Star Wars Rebels. And that will go to Juan with that one. He's a fun character. Honda Onaka. All right. Joe Pizzle, you don't know who Jim Cummings is? Come on, man. I mean, he has appeared in almost 400 roles, the official voice of Winnie the Pooh since 1988, Tigger since 1989, Tasmanian Devil since 1991, Come on, man. Come on. There's the Grand Inquisitor. These guys we saw in Star Wars Rebels. Harrison Dula also in Star Wars Rebels. I think a lot of the Star Wars Rebels characters are going to be in the Ahsoka series in 2023. So, uh, you know, that might be a good primer, primer, primer going into uh, Osaka, the Ahsoka series that is next uh in 2023 this break brought to you by disney plus subscribe to disney plus today using the code jaspy and get zero percent off all right next up is nambi gima that's uh kieran shah that was the uh if you saw the mandalorian 
Uh, that was the uh, the alien with the uh, with the the eggs that Baby Yoda was eating. Alan Matsui with Kieran Shaw. Oh, we're about to get sued. All right, there's Pelimoto, Poe Dameron, and C-3PO. Even Joe Pizzle has to know this guy. 73 out of 99. All of these are going to Chris, Chris D in that uh, non-auto spot. All right, next up is, is Dryden Voss. Paul Bettany, Dryden Voss, was the villain in uh, the Han Solo picture. Which, if you watch, if you do a rewatch of Han Solo, the, the, the standalone movie, try to divide up this, the sequences as, uh, as episodes. And it, it probably would have worked a lot better as a TV show. And Paul Bettany, of course, uh, Vision as well. And what else was he in? He was, what was that movie with uh, Master and Commander? Nicholas Stoffel with the, the Paul Bettany. With Russell Crowe, Master and Commander, that seafaring movie. That was a good one. What else was he in? He was in another movie with uh, Russell Crowe. And yes, and, uh, and his wife, Jennifer Connelly. They were in A Beautiful Mind. Paul Bettany. Beautiful Mind. All right, Vice Admiral Holdo, Luke Scott. Aren't you a little short to be a stormtrooper? All right, shut up. We're here to rescue you. Come on. And there's Kylo Ren, seventy-five. Has Jaspie's ever gotten a cease and desist warning all the time? Get them all the time. All right. Next up is nice Sabine Wren. And that's Tia Sirkar as Sabine Wren. I think she'll, she was, she's going to be in the live-action Ahsoka as well. Yeah, they're going to really lean into a lot of the... Uh, they're going to really lean into a lot of Star Wars Rebel stuff, which I'm excited about. A lot of loose ends that weren't really tied up there. Alan Murdoch with that one. You know what, though, Rex? They tell us to cease. We desist. We're like... Whatever. I do love the undercover boss Kylo Ren sketches on SNL. Those are pretty good. And Adam Driver hosted. We got Captain Phasma. They didn't do enough with her in the in the in the prequels. There's Darth Maul to 199 and Mace Windu. Chris uh, Chris Jaspi, what's your favorite Mace Windu quote? This party is over. That's a good one. All right. Next up is, it looks like we've got some orange parallel here. It's Pelimoto. That's Amy Sedaris to 25. Nice. Did not expect Amy Sedaris to end up in a Star Wars property, but there she is. Amy Sedaris going to Matt Bristow. All right, we got Omega or Omega. I think she has a New Zealand accent. Omega. Rekka. And she says Wrecker in, in uh, Bad Batch. Wrecker. Wrecker. There's Koska Reeves to 199 and Moff Gideon with the Darksaber to 50. Oh, man, he sure did. You are on the council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. And then 
And then Anakin Skywalker just goes, what the F? That's just, that's just bad management. That's just bad management, Chris Jaspi. It's like having, I don't know, one of the best players on your team, not making him captain? Or at least vice captain? I mean, you're wrecking the locker room right there. All right. Next up is Reek Oli, Ralph Brown. I, I don't have anything. Chris, who do, you, who do you have for this guy? And uh, that is Ralph Brown. I'm not going to know all these folks here. Juan Escabi Pena with that. Uh, Ray, he was... Oh, he was one of the... Uh, one of the starship captains on uh, Naboo. All right. He was in Phantom Menace. All right. Oh, also, Mike Tower, your questions about the Empire and memos and notes, they definitely have... I mean, it's a, the Empire is a massive bureaucracy. You know... Palpatine's busy trying to, like, I don't know, take over the world even though he already has it taken over. The rest of it's just bureaucracy. There's Quinlan Voss. Han Solo. And Rose Tico to 199 All right, next up is... Hunter from uh, Bad Batch. That's D. Bradley Baker as Hunter. 92 out of 99. D. Bradley Baker, big spot for him. All the D. Bradley Bakers going to Alan Murdoch. D. Bradley Break Baker has done a ton of stuff with, uh, with, uh, with his life. A lot of cartoons, a lot of voiceovers. Uh, he does, this is, he does, uh, I thought he did something with R2-D2, but uh, maybe not. Think of someone else then. But he does the voice of uh, Klaus in American Dad. All right, next box. Uh, Gilo's wondering, it's 2022. How do we not have lightsabers yet? I mean, yeah, how do we not have lightsabers yet? All right, we got Lobot. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. And then he's like, bzzz. Ah. There's Nala Say, 118 out of 199. Hello, Master Jedi. Yes, we have the whole clone order ready for you. Right this way. And then... And you and McGregor's like, what? I didn't order any clones. What are you talking about? Crazy long neck. All right, next one is Aurora Singh. Jamie King. Eight out of 25. A uh, bounty? Bounty hunter, I think. Uh, Jamie King goes to Alan Murdoch. Animated series. I haven't seen Resistance. But Star Wars Rebel Clone Wars is great. Star Wars Rebels for sure is is a is a really underrated one. Does Darth Vader have sleep apnea? I, I don't know. I feel like his breathing apparatus helps helps him with that. But I think he's got a lot of other problems to worry about. Let's see. Uh, do I sound like Stewie? Stewie. I was trying to do the voice of that Kaminan lady. There's Ezra Bridger, Bridger, Asajj Ventress. She's a great character. And we got Lama Su. Also from... Five out of five. The Prime Minister of Kamino. And there's some shady, shady peeps on Kamino, ladies and gentlemen. 
This goes to the all non-auto card spot. And that's for Chris Dottillo. Chris. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. All right. Next up is Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. Tim Rose is Admiral Akbar. It's a trap. I'm sure many of you have seen the meme or the movie. Chris, Chris D with D Tim Rose. Three more bad Star Wars impressions to go. There's Django Fett. There's the Mandalorian, Baby Yoda. This is the way. And Finn. 90 out of uh, 99. FN2187. FN2187? Uh, I'm going to call you Finn. Oh, there. Can someone tell by the top of this character's head? It is. Margrave Juro. I don't, I don't know this person. I have nothing for this person. Uh, that's Andrew Cascino. Nancy with that one. Sorry, Nancy. I've got nothing for this guy. Um... Oh, because he was in the Star Wars Visions shorts. I don't. I've not seen that. I think that's where they got a bunch of the biggest uh, animation studios in Japan to do retellings of uh, Star Wars stories. I haven't seen. Them. Doesn't that make Mandalorian a baby Yoda sitter? Yeah, you tell him that, Mike Tower. See, see the kind of reaction you get from the Mandalorian. I would dare not do that. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Yeah. That's his daddy. Yeah. More like his pop. Yeah. There's a bush. And she's got a thermonuclear detonator. Right? That's Carrie from his Leia underneath there. There's a Sokotano. That's going to be a great series. 2023. Subscribe, Disney Plus. This break sponsored by Disney Plus and Grogu. 47 out of 75. This is the way. Oh, and then the encased. Can't forget about that. That's the main hit. It is... It is Ronzer Malk. That's Mark Boone Jr. as Ronzer Malk. Who was in, in The Mandalorian? And that's for Alan. Alan Matsui with that one. Yeah, he was on that, that the, the Roost space station. I believe that's where they ran into Bill Burr. All right, final box. I was going to do lightsaber noises for every box, but I, I thought that would get uh, that'd get annoying after a while. All right, there's Kanan Jarrus. That he is voiced by Freddie Prince Jr. His wife, Sarah Michelle Geller, is also a voice in the Star Wars Rebels shows. There's T, uh, K2SO, one of my favorite droids. And there's Lando. Such a cool guy. Yeah, what, what a cool guy. He's the only guy in the universe that calls Han Solo Han. Yeah, I know. Right. Han. Han. Hello, this kid. It's like, you need a Mando. God, call God. 
That's right. <laughs> Full sabak right there for Lando Calrissian. and that goes to the all the other spot. Absolutely, Mike Tower. Han Solo in Carbonite is considered to be encased. All right, last one. It's going to be... Bail Organa. It's Phil Lamar as Bail Organa. Cartoon Bail Organa. Not Jimmy Smith, who's, uh, who's real-life Bail Organa. He's Nero to me. Uh, Tim. <laughs> Oh, is he in some? Yeah, he is. Oh, hmm. I didn't realize that. Bail Organa. In the later season. Phil Lamar. All those uh, voice actors, it's worth looking up because you'll be surprised at what animated shows or what other voiceover work uh, that, they've, that they've done. All right. Thanks, everybody. Jersey Fest randomizer time. So, as I said, we're going to use the original 20 names right here. And name on top. Gets the last spot in the Jersey Fest after five and a two, seven times. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, and once more, right? And seventh and final time, it's going to be Stephen K. Congrats to you. I don't know if I called your number too often in this break, but. You got the last Jersey uh, Fest spot. Thanks for watching, everybody. And thanks for getting to the Star Tops Chrome Black Star Wars Edition. Boom, ba da 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 ba 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 ba